Oh. Good morning. Uh, I've been up for two hours, uh, looking after the, uh, oh, God, uh, uh, Hatman Stargate, uh, start time, 36, 43, 2, 9, 8, 1, 9, 2, 7. So I've been up for a couple of hours this morning, um, I woke up before the animals, uh, which is quite a laugh, waiting for them to wake up, and um, it was quite a lo lovely morning at the sunrise, so uh, all tickety-boo. Sad news from yesterday, but also some good news. Um, uh, a cockle died yesterday, um, which was a bit... never seen a dead animal before. Well, uh, deer and badgers and stuff, you know, on the roads, but... Um, uh, never one that I then had to do a, a funeral pyre for. So it was a bit, a bit weird. Um, spoke to Amanda, well, text Amanda, the uh, lady who, whose place is with a man, and um, she said this is what farmers have. A, a, it's, a, it's a way of life, death. It's what they do. They just take care of life for as long as they can. Puts a bit into perspective about what we deal with every day, you know. Um, but there we are. Uh, but he speaks to some of the chickens, and they said he was a fine cock. Um, and in his time, he, he was very uh, very proficient at it. Um, he did say he was perhaps the biggest cock, um, or, or the thickest cock. He, he was a bit dim, but not thick. Um, but, but they enjoyed his time anyway. And I'm sure, looking at the chickens, <laughs> so did he. But death is a funny thing. Because um, it just happened out of nowhere. So, there we are. But it does remind me of a, a trip... Um, when I used to be uh, a time traveller, I went to Boot Hill uh, at the time of the old Wild West, and there was um, a funeral procession going on, and uh, uh, th this is a story that I heard that happened afterwards. Um, so the hearse, uh, being there by horses, up the hill, up the hill, up the hill, uh, got to the top where the graves are, and then they'd take the um, coffin out and put it onto uh, like, a, um, like a wheelbarrow thingy with um, wheels, and then mo moving it. Uh, it's just as it's coming off the back of the hearse, the lead horse bolts, and with that, the coffin flies onto the wheelbarrow thing, and the people couldn't hold on to it, and it started racing, racing down the hill, um, and of course, all the procession of people jumping to the left, jumping to the right, um, it, it was just just so scary, but it went down the hill, past the, past the jail, past the sheriff's office, past the bank, uh, women and children jumping up onto the um, side sides of the road and everything else. Um, nearly knocked out over the vicar, um, but, uh, the priest, uh, as it was at the time, holy man. Um, and then it just crashed into into a pharmacy. A pharmacist. Of course, people were queuing up. They saw it coming down. They were screaming. Glass everywhere. And the coffin went up to the counter. And it happened to end up upright. And with that, the, the top of the coffin uh, opened up. And this... Uh, the body there, and the pharmacist looking at it going. And the body said, have you got anything to stop my coffin? Hat man out. 